I'm back. I am just Pulvera and now we are on the last part which is in the final coverage of the life and works of Rizal. So let's start. My reflection one which is about the talisman for national stupidity. Rizal was suffered a lot. Rizal gave his all for the country but sadly what the people did was incorrect as a result of which Rizal works have only served as the tool for those seeking to pursue independent development or who do not aspire to be well-known figures or politicians because there are still plenty of behaviors today that make you a tool for someone else to advance or improve their grades. It can reflect the accomplishments of our beloved Rizal that ended up serving as the tool of others. Then one of my classmates snatched the responses so he could copy them and alter to other response to improve his grades. Maybe this is what Rizal means to say that our country is ill. People who can pull you down so they can grow up. So that is my reflection on the talisman um, talisman for national stupidity. So next re reflection. Reflection 2 is about the Claro M. Recto and the Rizal Bill, the Rizal Law RA 1425 and its predicament. It said that Senator Recto was a communist and anti-Catholic. But what Senator Recto wants to pursue to publish the results works for the youth and make it compulsory in colleges, university, public, and private schools. Senator Recto did not give support to the bill of the Senate floor because he was against the Catholic Church and President Ramon Magsaysay for one reason that he wanted to enter the candidate Francisco Rodrigo. Also, they said that when students read the novels, it seems like they violated the religion because they believed that their salvation was endangered. For me, as a student, it is important to know the life results, his sacrifices, his characters, his dedication to our country, and also more important, his works. So that is my reflections on number two. Third reflection is all about the Noli Mitangire. The novel of Rizal wants to tell us abuse felt by our Filipinos before. It also reveals to us the sacrifices they made prior to the application of Spanish rule in the Philippines. Additionally, he created this because he thought it would be improve the future of our nation and its fellow citizens. He wants to be free the Philippines from the conqueror, just like Spaniards did to us. If I reflect it to myself, my one act is to sacrifice is good and gives freedom for something I really to do it for the good of others. Like in my experience, I sacrifice sometimes my studies for serving in the church because I prioritize going to church over studying for my salvation because there are many more ways to finish schoolwork than the activities in the church. So I really want to do if what I think the best for me and for others. That is why Rizal sacrificed his life to us and to be free in the Spaniards rule. My fourth reflection is about the El Filibusterismo. In this novel, El Filibusterismo, it gives us an idea on what is their way before about the government in the Philippines. The government before, they used to have an corruption that we feel it until now. Because in the present situation, some of the leader or the one who governed it was a corrupt. That is why the development is very slow because of them. In this novel, Simon Ibarra, or also known as the Chrysostomo Ibarra, which is one of the most famous character in El Filibusterismo, who wants to revenge to those who are involved with his difficulty. Simon started a one revolution but it failed to broke the Spanish regime. If I reflect it to my life, I have a fight also that I am defeated. Just like before, I am fighting my ideas and knowledge about in one thing but i was failed because my opponent who has have a lot of knowledge about it the fifth reflection paper is about the vision of father rodriguez rizal responded to fry rodriguez because 
he crit criticized the works of Rizal. In response to his critic, Rizal made an essay which were published in Barcelona. He made it as an counterattack to Fray Rodriguez because of his criticism on the works of Rizal which is the Noli Mitangere. Fray Rodriguez believed that when people read Noli Mitangere, they will be sinful person. The La Vision de Fray Rodriguez made by Rizal was a reflection between Saint Augustine and Augustinian priest Fray Rod Jose Rodriguez. The saint criticizes the priest on his beliefs and action which oppose the priesthood. He also reveals the priest's abusive actions performed using the Catholic Church name. Saint Augustine goes into great length of criticizing the friar's deficiency in understanding Christians' techniques and doctrines. The sixth reflection is by telephone. For telefono or by phone, it was play written by our hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. It was published in 1889 and printed in Barcelona with authorship of Dimas Alang. The story of it was the discussion of the social issues and plans of two friars. This play is full of symbolism. It tells to how friars lived their lives in the time of Rizal. Also, they give thanks to those illustrados who give them some donations in the church. For me, donating to the church brings a smile to us and to the priest and or even to our nuns because we help them and the church for their daily needs it is not compulsory to give to the church but it's up to you whether you give or not my seventh reflection is about the result letter to father pastels father a Jesuit priest named pablo pastels made an effort to persuade Rizal to return to the Catholic faith because he cared deeply about the salvation of the man. Father Pastels asserts the Protestant principles can be found in Rizal works. Additionally, Rizal and Father Pastels differ and never seem to agree with one another. Even though they hold different views on religion, Father Pastels was impressed by Rizal's ability to research that religion and understand what it really entails. As a result, Father Pastels received the grat gratitude and respect of Dr. Jose Rizal. Pastels have lightened Rizal footsteps. So that is my one to seven reflection papers in the final coverage. And that's all. Thank you.